Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Over the years, I've done hundreds, if not over a thousand videos demonstrating how to use a plugin with Lightroom. And almost always in those videos, I mentioned that Lightroom will not allow you to send the original RAW file to a plugin. You have to send a TIFF, PSD, or JPEG file. Well, there is a way to edit a RAW file in some plugins. It doesn't work with all plugins. And recently, someone emailed me, and it was about something else, but they kind of reminded me about this other method where you could send a RAW file from Lightroom into some plugins. And I knew I did videos on it in the past, and I checked, and the last video I ever did was in 2018. So I haven't done a video on this in a while. So that's what we're going to be covering today. How to send a RAW file from Lightroom into a plugin. And again, this doesn't work with all plugins. And there is advantages and disadvantages. Um, the advantage, of course, is that you're able to send a RAW file. Now, you cannot send the original manufacturer RAW file. For example, this is a Nikon RAW file. Let me just click. There we go. Let me do that. All right. So you can see it's a .NEF RAW file. And you could see the uh, exposure and lens info there. Now, I cannot send this NEF, but it will send a DNG into uh, the plugin that I'm going to be using today. Now, if I zoom in on this, uh, you could see that there is a considerable amount of noise uh, on this image, and it's not super sharp. I mean, it's very sharp, but because of the noise, it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to send it into Topaz Labs Photo AI because Photo AI will reduce the noise and sharpen the image as needed. Now to do that in the past, of course, we right clicked and we went down to edit in and then over down to Topaz Photo AI. But again, the problem is that if you do that, you cannot send the original RAW file. You have to send a TIFF, PSD, or JPEG. So to send a RAW file, a DNG file, of this image into Photo AI. What you need to do is go up to File, down to Plugin Extras, and then over to the right. Now you could see I have a ton of plugins on my computer because I demo all of these. And you could see that I could send uh, this image into a number of different on one plugins, and it will again send a RAW file instead of a TIFF, PSD, or JPEG. And you can see down here at the very bottom is Process with Topaz Photo AI. So we're going to do that. And when I click on that, you don't have to do anything. It just automatically creates that DNG image and opens it up into Photo AI. And those of you not familiar with Photo AI, it is pretty much automatic. It is automatically reducing the noise if needed. It's automatically going to sharpen the image if needed. And if you decide if it's a heavily cropped image, you can upscale it as well and it will automatically enhance, enhance that upscaled image as well. You're probably looking at this and you're noticing a disadvantage. That RAW file that was in Lightroom, I did edits to it. If you look at this image, you could see the edits aren't there. So you'll lose your editing when you do this, but there's a way you could fix that as well. So we have the image now, it's in Photo AI, and I'm just going to take it as is. I'm not going to over here this isn't a video demonstrating how to use photo ai i have a number of those on youtube i'll have a playlist linked in the description below this video if you're interested in learning how to use photo ai so i'm just going to click save to adobe photoshop classic plugin that's what it says so now it's doing its thing and it's going to save this dng file to lightroom and here's another little odd thing i had this image in a collection if you send an image from a collection into a plugin in that manner, what will happen is it will not save it to the collection. You can see that it was working collection one. Can you see it's not there? Uh, you can see it just has one. Here, I'll click on that. We'll just prove it. So there's my original Nikon RAW file that I did edits to, but it doesn't have the noise reduced and the other things that Photo AI did. So I need to go back to that other folder that I had, and I up here have it. I have to go library module, of course. And then over here I have it, and it's the working folder. So 
It didn't bring the edits. Let's go over to the develop module. Here is the original Nikon RAW file with all the noise, and here is our noise reduced and enhanced image from Photo AI. All you need to do is once you're done in whatever plugin you happen to use, in my case it was Photo AI, click on the original processed RAW file, then immediately click on the unedited image that was sent to the plugin, and then while in the develop module, click on this previous button and it will just add the edits from that previous file to this new file. So here is our fully edited image, and I'll zoom in, and you can see how the noise is greatly reduced. It's nice and sharp. It looks great, in my opinion. I'll go up here, I'll go to View, and I'll go Lock Zoom Position, and then we'll pop back to the original Nikon RAW file, and you can see all the noise in there, both color and luminance noise, and we'll go back here and you can see how it looks a lot better. So that's that. That's how you could send a raw file to some plugins. Now again, it doesn't work with all plugins. Your plugin has to be in this list. So uh, go over to um, File, then down to Plugin Extras and see, with, see what plugins you happen to own might be in this list and you'll be able to do this. Uh, just remember that if you have the image in a collection, it will not automatically add the new file, that new DNG file, in the collection. You're going to have to manually do that. It will take you from the collection and put you in the folder that the image was in. And that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>